Jaguar. Jaguar. Is that how you say it? I meant to say it. Jaguar. All the videos, all the news people I've been watching, news anchors have been saying Jaguar. I mean, you're probably watching English people, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> as opposed to what? <laughs> as opposed to, I don't know. I feel like Americans say it in a different way, probably. Jaguar. 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 Jaguar's in the mix. Jaguar messed up heavy, heavy, heavy. <laughs> Apparently, they messed up heavy, heavy, heavy. They, um, they, they did a 180 with the rebrand. They yeah. came out with this new commercial. And in the commercial, they show a bunch of DEI models. Uh, DEI. So basically, what they're striving for is diversity. Oh, 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 oh. What's okay. E? I don't know what E is. Something inclusion. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. Mm. And basically, they come up with this, like, one-minute ad, and it's full of bright colors. It's full of these, like, models with, like, blank faces that were bright colors and... Uh, yeah, it just highlights like the brand's new, I guess, theme colors, new, mm. new logo, mm. and uh, people fucking hate it. It's crazy. The discourse online has been insane. Mm. Uh, a lot of the comments are like, okay, like, you're a car company. Where is the car? <laughs> <laughs> like, the whole ad, you, you, like, if you didn't know what Jaguar was, by watching that ad, you couldn't tell what the ad was about. Yeah. Yeah. You think it's like a modeling agency? Yeah. Like genuinely. Yeah. And people fucking hate it. It's it's I've never seen like this amount of hate for like a a rebrand like ever like this. I would I would I would contend that just because like um, who's up there? Back in the day when Vodafone rebranded to One NZ, there was so much hate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah fair enough. Fair, yeah. Fair, 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 Granted, fair. it's like well, Vodafone itself is like an international brand, but yeah. like. Um, yeah, there was so much hate around it. There was so much hate. Like people were calling the logo like Shrek's butthole. Yeah. Like it was, it was crazy. And yeah. like saying that like my child could like make a better logo. Yeah, all this stuff. But um, I think I don't know. On one hand, I don't. Is it a good fit for a Jaguar for me? I don't think so. I think there's a little, like unless it's a very specific reason there, they're messing with legacy. And like, I don't know. I feel like when a brand has legacy, they can literally just do anything. Yeah. And when you like, why would you want to mess that shit out? And like, secondly, I don't know. Like, I feel like on the other hand, like people are just going to like be annoyed either way. Yeah. If you change anything about a yeah. brand that they know. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I yeah. feel like unless it's like a play to be relevant. Yeah. I think it's two things. I think one is like Jaguar has been trying to rebrand for a while now. Like in in the in the Americas, in the United States of America, they're only releasing one model at the moment. They mm. they're holding their production and they're aiming to do a hard shift and have all their cars be electric by 2026. Mm. So in one year, they're trying to have their entire car catalog be electric, which is one, that's, like, a huge thing. Like, that's not going to fly well with, like, the average, like, car buyer, I guess. Mm. Especially when it's, like, them kind of brands, them kind of car brands where, like, people like to hear, like, the roar of the engine and all that. And So I guess the idea is that they just want a complete identity shift. They want to be associated with electric cars. Yeah, but it's so sad because they have, they, they have had so much heritage that they could, like, fall back on. Mm -hmm. to, like, they've always been, like, the... British elegant brand that like mm. oh the only the bonds would drive and shit mm. like that and I don't know um I don't know if people are overreacting I feel like people are overreacting as well yeah I mean like is it that deep remember when Twitter got turned into X yeah yeah that being said the URL is still twitter.com yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> just redirects <laughs> yeah um, oh you know what also pisses me off what? about the logo dude I don't know if this is on purpose. I really hope it is, because if it's not, I'm gonna in bro. Mm. Okay, so 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 so, in the logo, have you've seen the new logo, right? Yeah. Okay, let me show you. Jaguar. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Okay. You're good. You're good. Okay. okay. Um, can you feel? Can you see it's anything? Giving wrong? Uber. That too, but <laughs> Sorry. there's three letters that are capitalized. Three letters that are not. And that pisses me off. Heavy. Why is it? 
I also don't think it's it's authentic to the Jaguar brand. Though. Like, I just don't feel like it's a version of Jaguar because if they were doing this rebrand, yeah, I understand if they're trying to show a different version of Jaguar and evolution, so yep. to speak. But there's no like link there. There's no like connection. Yep. If that makes sense. Like, can you whip out the old logo? Yep. Boom! 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 Who is this? Bro, that's so much nicer. Yeah. Granted, it's like a little bit old school, but if anything, like I would literally just take out the word Jaguar and leave the fucking like animal there. That's what people are mad about is that like from this, they took out the tiger or like the, the leopard uh, or the, 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 the Jaguar. It's the, the Jaguar. jaguar. <laughs> the Jaguar. My <laughs> fault. My fault. The Jaguar. <laughs> because like it's already so iconic of a brand that people would yeah. understand. Yeah. And I, I think, but this isn't something new. Like, over the last like 10, 20 years, a lot of brands have been shifting their logos to look a bit more simple. Yeah. So like, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of like a good example, but like, but also know. when you see like, like brands, this kind of thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But again, right. Like they don't, it's not a crazy shift. Like they still yeah. retain the iconic elements of that brand. The theme colors, the, yeah, the, the yeah. general shape. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Microsoft, Google, um, Airbnb was a little bit different, but yeah. honestly, it's a lot cuter. Yeah. Um, and Spotify, eBay. Yeah. And even like over the years when, um, even like, oh my God, even all the fashion brands. Yeah. Yeah. But like, over the years, even like McDonald's, for example, yeah. like they must have had iteration, so many iterations of their yeah. like logo. Yeah. But like, it's like small iterations. You know, you don't make big iterations unless you like are doing a complete re like rejig of your identity. Yeah. I, I think also the the other thing is that we're in a very hateful state right now. I think in general, like you mean in social media? Yes. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. And not just like hateful, as in just for the sake of hating. I think hateful in terms of like actual bigotry, almost, or like mm. like why are people so upset that black people are on a Jaguar ad? Like, why is that that upsetting? You yeah, know? yeah. Like people are so upset that I don't know. Actually, I'm kind of on the fence. Actually, I'm such I'm so conflicted because yeah. like it's one 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 part of it is like. Oh, okay, it's this like legacy car brand, uh, elegance, blah blah blah, mm. and then you come out with an ad where like it screams DEI, diversity, equity, inclusion. It has nothing to do with the car brand. Mm. It's. I think people know when something is performative. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. On one hand, obviously, I haven't seen a commentary on it. Yeah. But like, I think a lot of brands when you do this kind of thing, it is very obvious that they didn't have a person of color in a room because yep. it's so performative yep. and all they did was just try to like look inclusive and i don't know like people see through that shit but also like on the other hand people just hate change yeah people don't like yeah feeling like there's yeah change like yeah. when when you said that um that ad came out with all the um, creepy dolls for PS4 was it? PS2, yeah. PS2, people yeah, yeah. were freaked out too. Yeah, yeah. So I think people just hate change, and it's just a matter of like for brands whether they think it's like 100 percent the right move, like for their brand in terms yeah. of where they're heading. But I'm curious to see what like Jaguar's bigger plan is because yeah. it's not super clear to me at the yeah. moment. Because they're doubling down heavy. Um, if you've seen their Twitter X account, mm. they've been doubling down. They've been like even sassy with the replies to the replies mm. like they had elon musk reply to them and they were like you could catch more information in our next talk in november blah, blah, blah. Mm. and it's like i don't know if that's the right move i i don't know if you should be like on the defense about it because mm. it just gives it screams insecurity and it just feels like i don't know like i think honestly what? here's my take my yeah. hot take let's hear it it's a play at rele relevancy. <clears throat> yeah, okay. I, I hear it, but I think it's... I don't believe in the saying all publicity is good publicity. Because for one, yes, okay, I've... I mean, for one, I've never spoken about Jaguar out loud in my life ever. Yeah. So this is good. A lot of people haven't... A lot of people that have never spoken about Jaguar in their life have, are now speaking about Jaguar. But it's only in the moment. And it will only look good... If they somehow make this work, if they don't make this yeah. work, it's going to be, oh, 
that that time in late 2024 where they looked like a clown show and that was the start of the decline of the brand they have to double down like i think they like when it comes to these things i feel like if they don't double down and if they don't have like a larger plan yeah which hopefully they have because otherwise their brand team sucks (laughs) um like it will be that yeah but otherwise like brands who double down on these moments it's so pivotal yep these moments of change are so pivotal about whether the next few years your brand account becomes like a household well not household name because it already is a big yeah. brand name but becomes the talk of people and yeah it I, i'm interested to see what shift is, is gonna look like yeah yeah because like yeah they came out with the ad the ad on twitter alone the ad on x alone has 160 million views like it's mm. it's gone stupid viral um elon musk replies to them do you sell cars they reply yes we'd love to show you join us for a cuppa in miami for on 2nd december warmest regards jaguar it's just like it it feels like very copy paste from an email chain that they just like threw threw onto x and that's just not how it works yeah they need a better community management person on their team not gonna lie yeah it looks really dumb like that was an opportunity to kind of just like show people what the yeah. Jaguar brand is about. Yeah. Leading to their personality. Because obviously that was like a troll from Elon Musk. Yeah. And they could have used that as like prime PR time, you know? Yeah. Like it's like, yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's also like, I don't know if this is crazy crazy to say, but like identity politics is fucking exhausting. Yeah. It's so fucking exhausting. I feel like in general, everybody on both sides is sick of it. Mm-hmm. Probably more on the right side because they're like, ah, they see a not white people on tv and like, oh. but then like there's like i don't know if you've ever heard of something called the oppression olympics but basically like th- it's this idea that like you're more valid or you're more worthy of a spot if you have if you're a more oppressed person mm. so like mm. if if you're a black person that's one thing but if you're a black amputee lgbt it just like adds more like labels that oh it makes you more worthy of like having a shine having a light shown on you mm-hmm. kind of thing yeah so i don't know yeah it's interesting yeah. it's really interesting it's kind of the world that we live in now it's like i don't know on one hand i think it like creates a lot more inclusivity and otherwise like people i mean there's no denying that these people have not had their maids net or like yeah. have been considered properly by society in the past so i think it is an attempt at people just kind of like making space yeah but um i think sometimes it's it's a tricky one because like yeah 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 and, and i think just one thing on that real quick i just uh is that so the people that are behind this ad when they made this ad and now they're getting hate because of the ad their easy excuse to fall back on is, oh, no, these people just hate the fact that we have new people in the ad. Like, that's, like, their shield of excuses. Like, mm. it's kind of hard to hate on an ad. I don't know how to, like, phrase this, but basically, like, if I put out an ad and it's full of, like, diversity, equity, and inclusion people and people are hating on it, I could be like, oh, you guys just hate these people. You don't, like, mm. whole time the ad actually could be garbage. It's like um, when they replaced um, Little Mermaid with yeah that chick. Chloe from, Bailey. Yes. Yes. And, like, the thing is, I get I get why, like, people are triggered on that end. But at the same time, like, when you think of the actual folklore of Little Mermaid. Yep. It's based in what? Ireland? Yep. And, like, it's just so random, you know? Like, it's not like a Caribbean tale or anything. Like, it's, like, it's based in Ireland. Yeah. So... Why are we so pressed? Because that's not historically correct yeah, anyway. Yeah. Um, but on the other hand, I think like in terms of diversity and doing it, executing it really, really, really well, like shows and yeah. movies, um, Bridgerton does it really well. Yeah. Like I think because there's no actual historical context. Like if you were trying to tell a story of like King Arthur or whatever, mm-hmm. and you start like adding all these different people, it's not historically right. Yeah. You're like, yeah, it's just you're just doing it for the sake of doing it, you know. Yeah. And yeah, I think I think there's a fine balance between that. Yeah, I think the only brand that won from this is a brand called Nothing. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but Nothing is basically like a smartphone brand 
they're like kind of a startup company in the UK mm. and they're called nothing, right? Mm. And Jaguar made their bio and the end of the ad say copy nothing. And so obviously they had this fucking perfect slam dunk when they 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 did their own rebrand to Jaguar's thing and they changed their bio to copy Jaguar. <laughs> and bro, it's blown up their socials like they have just under a million followers and all their tweets are hitting like five yeah. to ten million impressions and it's just like that's yeah. one way to go about it like i love just like agile reactive stuff mm. like that yeah because yeah. if you put that through like a process while you have to go through legal go through the marketing yeah. department go through yeah. all that it'll be like three weeks and nobody gives a fuck about jaguar or nothing yeah. or both yeah i'm curious though like when it comes to x and twitter like yeah. outside of the uk and the us yeah. who are, like what other countries use it oh i wouldn't know let's see uh, I feel like it's a very predominantly like UK this? and US kind of platform. They use X. Oh, it's crazy. UK isn't even the top five. What's top five? It goes uh, United States, Japan, India, Brazil, Indonesia, United Kingdom. Indonesia? Yeah. Wild. Yeah. Uh, the more These are learn. Twitter slash X users in 2023. Active users in 2023. Mm. Slay. Yeah. 